Council for a Livable World is a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit advocacy organization dedicated to eliminating the U.S. arsenal of nuclear weapons. Its stated aim is for progressive national security policies and helping elect congressional candidates who support them." The Council was founded in 1962 as the Council for Abolishing War by Hungarian nuclear physicist Leo Szilard. Its research arm, the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation, provides research to members of Congress and their staff. In February, 2016, John F. Tierney was appointed the Executive Director of the Council for a Livable World and the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation, the Council's affiliated education and research organization. For more than 50 years, the Council for a Livable World has been advocating for a more principled approach to U.S. national security and foreign policy. Topic: Policy influence and lobbying. Every election cycle, the council endorses congressional candidates who are arms control advocates and who support the council's outlook on national security issues. Since its inception, the council has helped elect 134 U.S. arms control advocates to the Senate and 226 to the House of Representatives. Council supporters raised over $1.6 million in 2014. Candidates seeking endorsements are required to answer questionnaires on issues and to defend their positions in interviews. The Council endorses candidates for the House of Representatives through PSPAC. The Council endorsed both President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden in their first runs for U.S. Senate seats. The Council has influenced U.S. arms control and national security policies for over 50 years by working on or supporting several issues including Rallying support on Capitol Hill in favor of the Iran nuclear deal Ratifying the Chemical Weapons Convention and Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, Conventional Forces in Europe, Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty Start, and the New Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty New Start. Establishing a U.S. Nuclear Testing Moratorium in 1992 Banning biological weapons and terminating chemical weapons programs Limiting the deployment of the MX missile and B-2 bomber Blocking deployment of national missile defense by the Clinton administration Eliminating funding for the nuclear bunker buster and reliable replacement warhead Two new generations of nuclear weapons Topic. Father Robert F. Drenan National Peace and Human Rights Award Since 2006, Council for a Livable World and its research center and sister organization, Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation, present the Father Robert F. Drenan National Peace and Human Rights Award to individuals who exemplify the late Father Drenan's commitment to peace and human justice. The award broadly focuses on U.S. politics, political science, physical science, biology, peace studies, and peace and human rights activism. Officers Robert K. Musel, Chair, Council for a Livable World Jules Zacker, Vice Chair, Council for a Livable World Timothy L. Brennan, Secretary, Council for a Livable World Lauren Walker, Treasurer, Council for a Livable World <laughs> Board of Directors Aaron Bernstein, Professor of Physics Emeritus, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Council for a Livable World Paul Castleman, Business Executive, Council for a Livable World 
Alice T. Day, sociologist, Council for a Livable World Laurie Dewey, activist, philanthropist, Council for a Livable World Catherine Magraw, Foundation Consultant, Council for a Livable World Jean Pokorny, Consultant, Council for a Livable World Philip G. Schrag, Professor of Law, Georgetown University, Council for a Livable World Dr. James Walsh, Research Associate, Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Security Studies Program SSP, Council for a Livable World Daniel Wells, Professor, Merrill College, University of California, Council for a Livable World Lieutenant General Robert Gard Ret. USA PhD, Chairman of the Board, Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation Nicholas Clark, Business Executive, and Adjunct Professor National Advisory Board Margaret Gage, President and Executive Director, Proteus Fund, Council for a Livable World Senator Gary Hart, former U.S. Senator, Council for a Livable World Lawrence Hess, Businessman, Council for a Livable World John Isaacs, Senior Fellow, Council for a Livable World General John H. Johns, retired Brigadier General, Council for a Livable World Colonel Richard Class, USS Air Force Ret. Council for a Livable World Priscilla Johnson Macmillan, Associate, Davis Center for Russian and Eurasian Studies, Harvard University, Council for a Livable World Matthew Messelson, Professor, Natural Sciences, Harvard University, Council for a Livable World Richard Schiff, Actor, Council for a Livable World Staff The Honorable John Tierney, Executive Director, former Member of Congress 1997-2015 John Isaacs, Senior Fellow, Council for a Livable World Kane Farmer, Controller, Council for a Livable World Hazel Correa, Communications Director, Council for a Livable World Greg Terran, Policy Analyst, Council for a Livable World James McKeon, Policy Analyst, Council for a Livable World Khalil Cutter, Staff Accountant, Council for a Livable World <laughs>